The knot of my crime is real difficult to talk about at times. Um, you know, two men not knowing they were going to have different lives at the end of that evening. They were going out to do what they'd normally done, drink, whatever they were going to do, and one life ended and one still stayed alive. I had been turned down from parole again, denied for my uh, release. And uh, I was in my cell and I was talking to God and um, this thought came across my mind as I was crying and kind of looked, at, I was looking at a razor wire much like this right here at a, at a prison cell. And I just said, you know, I said, Lord, you know, I'm watching the seasons of my life change because I was no longer that 19 year old kid that committed that crime. However, that razor wire, much like that razor had never, had never changed. So, you know, cause I was no longer that kid, but that razor wire didn't care uh, that I, it was, it was there when I came to prison. And it was the same thing, but I was no longer this 19-year-old, but this 48, I think at the time, 48-year-old man, you know, looking for release. God's done some restoration in my life, uh, in spite of me taking a life. And I love trying to inspire other people to see their lives, that it's redemptive, that it can be restored, and that's my passion for Oklahoma, that if God can change my life and restore some things in my life, I think he can do it for other people in the state of Oklahoma. Man, I'm proud of Prison Fellowship Academy because, man, we're touching lives, changing lives. We are there 500 hours of curriculum material. I work as academy staff, so I'm with them eight hours a day, on average about four days out of the week, spending countless hours with them in class, exchanging dialogue, delivering the material, and then doing one-on-one -on -one case management with them, getting their stories and talking about their inner struggles. These men are on one housing unit. They learn to live together. They learn to work together. They're gonna to be involved in community projects together. They're learning to bond together in group discussion because some of these classes are touching, particularly like victim issues. Uh, they get to talk about and they get to feel safe in an environment to share their feelings without conflict and learn how to communicate that in a more healthier way. So that's what we're doing in the academies. We're the nuts and bolts of this. It isn't just putting a guy in a classroom and say, hey, let's just put, occupy three hours of the day. No, they're, they are really getting some really good information. They're digging. Uh, the academy managers, our job is to, to help them self-discover some of the wounds in our lives and find out how to get that healed.